Hey y'all, come on in the room. I know it's late for some of you guys, but come on in here. Come on in here. Come on in the room. I won't be before y'all long. Hey y'all, wherever you are in the world, Lou, I don't go live often enough, but I felt like it was important to go live tonight. I will tell you all why. Hey, Walter. It's good to see you. Hi, The Serenity Show. Hello. Hey, y'all. Hi, Miss Fifi. Uh, <laughs> Jay. Hey, cousin. Hey, Ivan. Hey, y'all. Okay, so I am up late and I will be up for for a little while longer because this is release night. Um, it's about 40 minutes before Erica Campbell's album drops called I Love You. And um, it's kind of sentimental for me though. Um, I have this glare. Oh, it's because of this lamp and my glasses. Um, but anywho, it is kind of sentimental t for me because I've been um, on the team for about 10, e almost 10 years now, actually. And when I first joined the team, um, we I came right in at the start of the Help album, which was Erica's first solo record. And, um, you know, between 2014 and now, um, there's been, you know, there was Help 2.0, then there were some singles that dropped, um, some music videos. She's gone into other aspects of media. Um, and then I transitioned to the My Block team as a whole. Um, and so now I, I work with all of the artists that are signed to our, to, to our roster, excuse me, signed to our roster. Um, but Erica does, I know Walter's it's crazy, time goes by really fast. Um, but EC has a special place in my heart because um, I started out as her assistant almost 10 years ago. And um, and so I got a chance to experience a lot of things and um, and travel and uh, work on a lot of different projects um, when it was just her. And so I'm able to apply that same grit um, and experience to the other artists that are assigned to us who I love and I enjoy thoroughly. Um, but, you know, it's just a full circle moment and, um, her and I kind of had a conversation tonight about what this moment really means for the both of us. <laughs> I know it's Fifi, it's so crazy. Um, but this album is, you know, is representative of so many different things. Is You will see such a growth from Erica in a lot of different ways, um, from her voice to how she processes things and how she navigates life. And now that she has so many other roles that have been added since the initial album, um, you'll even see, uh, you know, emotional, spiritual growth um, and, and wisdom that she's able to even pour back into y'all and into us. Um, and so let's, uh, Let's make sure we not only celebrate her, but let's look at this album and listen to this album as a theme for our own lives. Um, like literally, it's, it's a celebration of God's love, self-love, and love for others. And that's why we are here to, one, love God. Because if we don't love God, there's no way we can love ourselves effectively or love anybody else. It's just not possible. If you don't understand how the Creator loves you, there's no way that you will be able to conjure up how to love yourself or someone else. And I mean, we're not going to be perfect at that at all um, because God is God. Um, and so he has, you know, the capacity that we will never have. But um, to follow him is to to have an example, to have something to reach toward. Um and so I think this album gives us language um, and it allows us to celebrate um, how far we've come in our faith to be able to love people when it's uncomfortable, when it's difficult, love ourselves when we ugly, forgive ourselves, extend grace to ourselves, um, and to continue to lean in on the Father. So 
I'm just really excited. I usually cannot go to sleep the night an album drops, a single drops or anything. I'm just way too excited. Um, I will have way too much on my mind. My task list is very long and it keeps growing because I keep on having more ideas. And I'm like, ooh, let's do this. Ooh, let's do that. And everybody on our team is still awake. So I'm able to get graphics that I need. And ooh, what if we did this? I'm able to book this stuff and all of that. So it is a huge undertaking um, when you are working for a talent. Um, and, and I'll do some more Q and A's and stuff like that because I'm super passionate about just encouraging and training people in 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 the space who either are support professionals for talent or want to become that. Um, it looks amazing on the outside, and it's really a blessing. But you got to be graced to do it. It's not just something you just plop in. For me, I knew if this wasn't. I don't do anything just because it's cute or it looks cute or whatever. Um, I really do it because I know I want to be in something for the long term. I'm not a short term chick. I'm not a forever girlfriend to anything or anybody. So <laughs> I'm going to bet. I'm going to pray. I'm going to seek counsel about any decision, any major decision that I choose to get involved with. Um, and that is especially in the area of my career. So I knew I wanted to be someplace where I could set some roots um, and create some exciting things where they will listen to me, um, you know, listen to the ideas that I have and where I could grow and learn myself. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm really excited about this. I'm so excited for what y'all will hear. Um, yeah, and I just can't go to sleep, so. <laughs> I wanted to see who else was awake um, so I could kind of just, you know, express my heart. But, um, yeah, I, I definitely want to do some Q&As um, and just really encourage people who say that this is what they want to do. See, my phone's still going off and it's almost 1130. Look at the Lord. See? Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I just, uh, yeah, I just wanted to get on here. Um yeah 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 i just wanted to get on here and talk to y'all for a second but um and just kind of share about the album so hi are we coming to dallas that is the plan so that's a great question hey cousin mark um so right now we're in new york we have a, a concert uh tomorrow night um technically tomorrow night um at sony hall uh huge and uh that would be like a concert party vibe. And then we uh, will go to D.C. Um, she has a performance on Tuesday um, at the First Baptist Church of Highland Park. Uh, we'll do a gang of press there. Then we'll leave there, go to Baltimore, go to Philly, um, progress to Atlanta. And then she has a big date. Yes, we're coming to Detroit, Leslie. Um, she has a big day in Atlanta on September 26th. Um, at New Birth, Atlanta, and D.C. and Atlanta is free, first come, first serve, so you want to get there early, get your seats, tell your friends to tell a friend, tell a friend, grab your family, like, when I tell you it's going to be an experience, like, it really is, like, I want y'all to feel, hi, Michaela, um, I want you all to feel the songs, feel the record, I want you to just, like, you know, there'll be some things you could bop to, but then there's some things that, like, you can literally close your eyes and it will probably bring you to tears. Um, so I'm really excited about that. But we're going to be a lot of places. This is my first time being away this long. So my family is going to be about six weeks. Um, <laughs> Miss Fifi, you don't ever have to beg. Um, we are coming to L.A., though. Um, I just have to get the date uh, approved and then we will announce it. Um but yeah, uh, gone on the road for a while. Let me see Michaela, Tennessee. Yes, Ashley Erica is performing at TSU's homecoming, Tennessee State University, on October eighth. So we'll be in Nashville. Um, yeah, we'll be in Nashville. She'll she'll be in North Carolina A and T in uh November. I know Walter, Lord Jesus. Um, so yeah, so I I just want y'all to understand like uh. 
you know, this is a sacrifice that we're we're stepping away from our families. We're stepping away from our ministries. We're stepping away um, from so many different things that feed us to be on the road, um, to deliver to you all um, just a wonderful body of work and a live experience. And she is going to, even though it's, COVID is still around, um, <laughs> she will she will safely uh, shake hands and um, and take pictures and um, pour her heart out. She has been diligent with her workouts and diligent with her vocal coach. And so I believe that she's done everything that God has called her to do to be a good steward um, and to be able to present something amazing to you guys. And it's been years in the waiting. I've been sitting here like, come on. Um, <laughs> but... You don't want to rush music. You want music to just naturally unfold and come together. So it's finally here in 30 minutes. Live! Oh my God! And I am just like, yo, I'm going to try not to wake up my hotel neighbors, but um, I'm super, super stoked and I am not going to sleep. I'm going to make sure um, y'all have everything that y'all need. Um, and we're all really excited to serve you. It is a blessing to, um, it's a blessing when God chooses you to serve and when you know you're in the capacity um, that you're supposed to be serving in, when God has graced you for a thing. There's some stuff we really be trying to force and it don't work. That person is not your person. That job is not your job. That is not your friends. That's not the food you're supposed to eat. You know what I mean? So, you got to take notice of that and go where, go where you know, your heart, your mind, your soul, your spirit um, has peace. And where you know God is blessed. Then, you know, it will come with ease, even when it's tough. Because doing what I do is not always easy. Most times it's not always easy. But because I'm graced to do it, um, it just flows. That's the word, flows. But, you know, it comes with heaviness sometimes. Um, it comes with a lot of sacrifice. But it's worth it. Okay, let me answer some of y'all's questions. When is she coming to North Carolina? She is... Let me see. Uh, okay, so North Carolina a t is in November. Um, let's see here. Is it November? I want to say... November 5th, let's see, November 5th, yep, we'll be in Greensboro, um, and then we'll be hitting Charlotte and Raleigh, let me see if I can find those dates, do, 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 y'all have me going through all my stuff, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll post it. We'll post it. I don't have it um on his computer yet. But we'll post it. Um, will she do any meet and greets at her shows? Yes. Okay, 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 Jay. Um, no location for Dallas yet, but it's definitely on the radar because we have to hit Dallas. And I saw someone ask about Miami. That is not on the list yet. Hey Jen. Um, that's my sorority sister, Jen. I know you're in the Bay Area. We are coming to the Bay. Um, thank you for the prayers. Uh, Miss Fifi, you said live where or live where? Elaborate for me, darling. Um, we are on tour now. So, um, yeah, okay. Now, let me go to Jay Black. Let me see your question. What did you ask me? What has been the best part of my journey with talent support? Okay, this is good. That's a good question, actually. Um, the best part of my journey with talent support has been... Um, okay, so this is the thing. When you work with talent, right, especially in the capacity that I'm in, you see a lot, you witness a lot, you're present for a lot. And so you get a chance to see someone beyond their celebrity or beyond their status or beyond their platform or notoriety, whatever. Um and you get a chance to see their humanity, like who they are as an individual, like, you know, 
when they're happy and when they're sad and when they're trying to figure things out and when they're not sure and when they are sure. And, um, and I think the beauty of that is one, it, it shows great vulnerability to be able to be authentic in front of people, right? Even if it's your, uh, your tribe that you trust behind the scenes, you know, um, Hi, Pastor Rochelle. That's my sorority sister, too. Oh, Miss Fifi, you said IG tonight. No, we're going to go live tomorrow. Erica's going to go live tomorrow. Um, I'm just going live tonight because I'm up doing a countdown to the album drops in 26 minutes. Um, okay, sorry, y'all. I'm really excited, clearly. Um, okay, so anyway, back to my answer. Uh, so you get a chance to witness someone's divinity in their humanity, right? And... Um, to be able to witness it and to understand how much God trusts you to witness it and to be able to handle them with care, be, be able to um, be able to pray and ask God, like, what is necessary for me in this moment? Like, why am I allowed this access to see them in their full totality? And I think that's the beauty of of being graced to do a thing, because in that moment, you're able to adjust. Like I tell people all the time, like you're not just your title. Like, OK, I was an assistant. I've modulated up the ranks now, vice president of operations for the label. Right. And so I'm not just that title. Like I really don't care about titles at all. Like bump, whatever that means. I'm a servant leader. I serve. That's it. And I, I want God to get the glory through my service. And so with that being said, he's really my true boss. He just kind of loaned me these people. And so my thing is, okay, God, I'm here. What is it that you want me to do at this moment? I have this task list. Um, I have, you know, all these things to do. Um, I could still be like, all right, chop, chop. We got to go. You got to get to the stage. You got to do this. You got to blah, blah, blah. Right? But it's like, nope, I'm supposed to pray right now. Nope, I'm supposed to get this artist their favorite chip okay nope i'm supposed to make them laugh right now nope i'm supposed to you know call their spouse and you know and and for them to get get their love tank you know filled up before they get ready to embark on this new project and so whenever you're serving like your true question is like okay god yeah i have all these things to do but what is it that um, you want me to do. You can manipulate this schedule. You could throw it away. There's some days where it's like, we're not doing no work today. Got a whole lot of work to do. Got a whole lot of deadlines. But no, nope, today's not work day. Today is a, a stroll through New York and let's laugh and we'll talk about the album or we'll talk about, you know, favorite memories as we go while we get our steps in, while we work out, while we get ready for the show. Um, but you, you figure out unique ways of serving someone and learning how to fill their tank so they are able to deliver to the people what God has given them to deliver. So you're literally, sometimes you're an environment shifter. Sometimes you're a peace restorer. Sometimes you are someone who champions them. Sometimes you're somebody who um, makes them laugh or... Um, affirms them sometimes you're you're a warm hug sometimes you are someone who stays out the way and goes to find you know goes to a corner um <laughs> you just really have to ask god ask the holy spirit to guide you um it's something that erica repeats all the time she says uh cc wine and tell her uh regulate everything through the holy spirit and you literally have to do that especially when you're serving talent you just have to you have to. You can't take anything at face value. Literally, I read this book called The Four Agreements. If you haven't read it, read it. It's a quick read. One of the four agreements is um, don't take anything personally. You literally can't take people personally at all. Like, you can't. Like, sometimes they got so much on their mind or so much that they're responsible to. Sometimes they're embarking on stuff. They make it look easy on the stage, but... It's so much that goes on behind the scenes, making sure the sound is right and making sure people are doing what they're supposed to be doing and making sure that they ate. You know, sometimes you can go all day doing press and um, shaking hands and taking pictures. People come up when she's eating, take you know, asking for a picture. When she's in the restroom asking for a picture, y'all, that's intrusive. But 
you're here to serve, right? And so with all that being said, there are moments where you neglect your own self and what you need to make sure that the people have what they need. Um, and so when that happens, you know, you just need to make sure that your turn, um, that your team is, uh, is attentive to you, um, and making sure that you're in, al- you're in alignment. And the only way they can make sure you're not, you're in alignment is if they are in alignment. Cause if they're misaligned, they are going to just tear up the environment. It's not going to be right. So you really have to understand, um, you might have a title, bump the title. No one cares. Because when you're supporting a talent, um, depending on who you're serving, what company you're serving, the the title could have a different meaning. Um, But you need to be all that God has called you to be. Own your space. (laughs) Watch this. Okay, this is funny. Um, Okay, hold on, y'all. I just got a text and it was really funny. Oh, that's a great question, Jay Black. You got all the questions. I want to go to bed real bad, but I can't go to bed. <laughs> I know you can't go to bed because your album drops in 20 minutes. I'm oh, sorry. <sighs> I'm on live right now. I'm on Instagram live. I'm going to join you, but it's going to be black in here. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, the other thing is, you got to be friends with the people that you serve. Because you're going to work very closely together. And you got to like each other. If you don't like each other, that's a problem. You need to go. Go home. Um, okay, Jay, you said, who serves me? Woo! Child, that's a good question. Um, I've, I've, I've found some people that really have a heart for me. And I think that is so... Oh, God, that's so beautiful. Because I'm not used to... I don't expect that from anybody. I'm not used to it. And um, Pastor Rochelle is someone on here. And uh, she's been somebody who um, I've identified as someone who um, has served me. And she's a whole pastor and wife and mama. Um, But she's been a really good example of someone who has seen me and um, has taken care of me in certain ways. Uh, <laughs> Pastor Albert, does the album have enough cowbell? What is that? Oh my God. Thank you, Sir Carla. Listen, I've been drinking a lot of water. I am so proud of my skin. Yeah. Hello. Hi, boss lady. Why are you up? We've had a long day. I know, I know. But, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited. I know. Uh, 18 minutes. 18 minutes, God. Oh, Jesus. Until I love you is here. I was just kind of telling them, like, they were asking some really good questions. Um, but I was just telling them, like, kind of the posture that they need to have when this album drops, like, how to listen to the album, yes. how to take it in, what the true message of it is, and how it's how it's a body of work that we need to celebrate. Meaning, like, it's a celebration of how far we've come spiritually and naturally, Absolutely. how we've triumphed, how we've made it through a pandemic and loss and heartbreak and moments where people really try, people, things, places, instances, experiences, yes. really tried to strip love from us. But yet we prevailed because we leaned into God and we trusted yes. him. And I mean, so, even yeah. even like tonight, we left rehearsal. Rehearsal was great. And then you get a call that wants to steal all of your joy. Yeah. And so I had to make a decision like, nope, nope, nope. I know what God promised. I know he, what he said. I know I'm prepared. It doesn't matter what it looks like, even as... Is is it 17 minutes before? I'm not going to let the enemy steal my joy. I know the purpose in this mm-hmm. love album, mm-hmm. this love movement that will change the way people think and feel, that will make them believe again, not just in God's love, but love of themselves and love of people. Um, it's just going to take you to a higher place. I truly believe that. And so, mm-hmm. I, I mean, you know, we're 16 minutes away. And what? <laughs> what are we doing? What, what are we this? doing with our lives, Misty? We're supposed to be asleep. Y'all have to do a whole morning show. Oh, I know. 
Lord Jesus. I am in the bed in a dark room, wig <laughs> off. I mean, I share a lot, but I'm not sharing that. No. Much, okay. No, no. We got to. Jay Bolin is on here. He would have a heart attack. <laughs> he would. I won't he do it, Jay. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> God. Oh, Miss Fifi is on here. She said, "You are surrounded by God, and we are awake." Oh, uh, thank you, Miss Fifi. <laughs> There's a soror in the comments. Hi, soror. Hi, soror. Uh, Albert Tate said, "Do you believe in love?" Y'all not ready. Oh, ready. Oh, oh gosh. gosh, they not ready. <sighs> okay, I have to close my eyes. I have to do a morning show. I know. What are you gonna do? <sighs> I agree. Cindy, you want to close your eyes? Wait, is that somebody from Cali Worship that's coming? Wait, where? You see somebody? Who? Somebody said Cali Worship. Oh, I can't I wait to see y'all tomorrow. Song. Who is Augustus Bennett? I don't know, but I'm going to give him a hug when I see him. Period. Somebody Hi, asked, where are, you where are you doing meet and greets? I told them yes, safely, because, you know, we got to make yeah. sure COVID is still here. 15 minutes. 15, 15 minutes. <laughs> Walter Cozy is in the building. Walter! What up? Someone said you. I need y'all to tell everybody about this music. I need y'all's help. Yes. I support everybody. I tell everybody about everybody's music. And I need y'all to just return the love. That's yeah. it. Just return the love. And then God will do the rest. That's all I can ask. Y'all, we'll do our part. And then God will do the rest. We've been prepping and calling and Zooming and planning and strategizing and changing things in good days and bad days and disappointing days mm -hmm. and then you just lean into his love and the power of it and the consist consistency mm -hmm. of it i was telling somebody the scripture all things are possible to them that believe what do you believe mm -hmm. don't believe the negative don't believe the doubt don't believe the dis disappointment mm -hmm. believe god's love his power his plan his strength his favor his provision mm -hmm. his healing believe it trust it rest in it get excited about it mm. let it bring you peace like i'm about to cl close my eyes it's 14 minutes and i'm about to close my eyes i'm gonna do it i'm going to sleep girl i'm not staying up all night long because i am misty don't do that we know you ain't sleeping you just <laughs> you don't like sleep i love sleep it's so good Look, I I told you that I cannot sleep in New York. It is hard. That's they saying we don't sleep in New York. Y'all need to take a nap. No one else is asleep. You go outside. It's a whole party on a Thursday. Listen, on a random Thursday. <laughs> they are lit. They are in, in these streets. You hear me? Yes, they are. But no, like you, you, you said something that was really, really good just about um god's love and i was thinking about that earlier like there's so many times where people are seeking god's yes. love they may not truly understand that that's what they're seeking but they're seeking god's love they're seeking validation yes they're seeking confirmation through these other entities and literally when you just depend on god for it, you overflow like you ooze like you could be doing uh -huh. things but like huh? it's like you have extra sauce when you're walking around like yes i'm Come drinking on. my water and i'm so proud of my skin but it's really like the glow of jesus like i'm not even getting like extra spiritual but like <laughs> when you're really in your bag and you're like just full of god's love you don't really you don't have a need for anything you just you trust god in yes. every situation everything like it really does make a difference and that's not too deep and and who wants to be shallow? Y'all yeah. be talking about being deep, deep, but who wants to be shallow? Shallow ain't fresh. Mm -hmm. I need to be rooted in God's word. I need to be so plugged in that, that when he speaks, I can mm -hmm. feel it. I don't question it. I don't have to talk to 75 people. Uh -huh. I don't have to ask other people, what you think now? What you think now? What you think? God said it. I'm standing on it. I'm moving forward, no matter how big it is. But usually he asks you to do big things. Yeah, Marcy is on here. The show that she did yesterday. She said, I trust him. A hundred percent. Me yeah. too. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Okay. Twelve minutes. Twelve. DJ, do you see this? DJ. <laughs> Y'all, I can't. Rest your voice, Sora. Okay. Okay. Oh, they said rest your voice. Okay, you, this is right. I have a whole concert tomorrow. <gasps> Brooklyn, you gonna Brooklyn, y'all better do me right, because I love me from Brooklyn. 
Samo, I wish you was in New York. <laughs> Please Somebody tell said, your ratchet fans. I need all your ratchet fans. Who? Samo. Who, who's ratchet fan? Lil Mo? No. Oh, Samo. Oh, Samo. I don't know Samo. Yeah, you, you do. I do know Samo. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, Samo. Somebody asked about free tickets, said they really want to come, but who was that? I'm trying to scroll up, y'all. You were given instructions a few days ago to DM me I did. with your name. I did. Did you do that? Did they DM me? Did we Listen. reach our limit? Uh, we, we, I might, I might, because of favor. God is moving Ooh. on this live on tonight. 11 minutes. So I know. Oh, God. I won the free tickets, but I can't come. Oh, that's what they said. I'm so Oh. We'll be back. She'll be back. Janice from Texas. We have to get Texas on the schedule, Misty. Yeah, we do. We, we do. We did talk about. We did talk about that today. See, that's why we can't sleep. That's why, cause the phone. The phone is still going off. People are still awake. The Ooh. team is fully awake. We are. The team is huh? Ten minutes. Oh. The record comes oh out in ten minutes. Oh God. Oh Lord Jesus. Oh God! Okay, <sighs> y'all don't even understand. It's <laughs> like <laughs> for me too. See? This is like think about whatever your passion project is. Like if you're in fashion, or if you're like working in tech, yes. or you are yeah. a minister, like whatever you would deem as your uh, Anaya Simone. Your mom sent me a DM. Okay, I wish. Oh, yes, she did. Yes, Anaya. she did. I can't wait to see you. You're coming. I'm going yes. to do your first. Thank you. Um, but yeah, whatever you feel like is your passion <laughs> project, like this is what that is for us in the music industry. It's like you work. Governor Gibbs. Governor Gibbs, thank you for helping us spread the word out here. Governor thank Gibbs. you. <laughs> so Miss, Miss PT says, stay with us eight minutes ago. Oh, Al Pastor Albert Tate says, what is your favorite song on the album? Which is a question we get quite a bit. My favorite song. Song. That's so hard because I think it really is feel all right, but it it is also I love the Lord, and it is also do you believe in love, but it is also trust and obey, and then also show being good, but also <laughs> edges, and also the one that got away, and then also thank you, thank you, thank you, and also I love the Lord. So that's my favorite song. The, the album is my favorite song. <laughs> it's such oh. a good response. It's so funny. Oh, thank you, Sora LaShawn. Hi, I'm Tammy in Texas. <laughs> Tammy in Texas. So we got people asking about Miami, Columbia, South Carolina. I feel like we're coming to Columbia, South Carolina. We talked about the North and South Carolinas. And a big fan from Brazil is here and <gasps> needs to come. Brazil. Baby, don't play with my heart. I will come to Brazil. I will learn Spanish. Hola. Please. <laughs> Gloria a Dios. How do I say feel, feel all right in, in Spanish? Somebody tell her. I'm about to, I'm going to Google it. Misty's going to Google it. Positive remix is jamming because that's my son. Come on, Wozy. What did Wozy do on that song? He did the drums. He did all the drums. He changed the drums on the song. Which is amazing. So Warren told him to do his research on different styles and then he sat him in front of his stuff, his station, and he went to town. It's so good. He did a really great job. He did. Somewhere eight, seven oh. minutes, seven minutes. <laughs> Sean G said, When's the tour? The tour is now. The tour is now. So, so we're doing tour dates, we're concerting it up, but we're doing concerts and conversations because I just think that this record deserves a conversation. Um, the subject of love deserves a conversation because if God is love and God created love, why oh, why is love relegated to your breakup or your? a dysfunctional family. That is the situation, but that's not all that love is. Love is God. It's all consuming. It's powerful. It's perfect. It's wonderful. It created the universe. It created you. And so when you look at love like that, you don't have to say, I'm afraid of love. I don't want to fall in love. Love is dangerous. 
Love is dangerous. It is. It is scary. But it's also beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Who in the world wants to live in the world where I never have a problem with anything? That's Disneyland. And then Disneyland <laughs> has its problems. Right. I'm trying to exactly. be smart like you. Come on, Facile. <laughs> Pastor Tate. Come on. I got to give these good answers. I have to be ready. Be ye also ready. Huh? Come on here, somebody. Miss D, you six minutes. Six <sighs> minutes. Dougie Fresh, you're on. On, on, on. <laughs> Oh, oh, on, oh, 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 on. Oh, oh, oh. Golly. <laughs> y'all, I promise y'all, y'all don't even know the half. She is hilarious. Just say the whole album. I was trying not to say the whole album, okay? DC <laughs> Hang 33, but I couldn't help it. <laughs> Chris Howard said he's coming tomorrow from Savannah, Georgia. Chris. They travel. Yes. Thank you. Can I, can I give is. someone else the tickets? Yes, of course you can. Yeah. Give somebody else the tickets. Jay Black said Portuguese. What? Portuguese. Okay, so here's oh, how yes. you say, feel all right in Spanish. Here. Sentirse bien. What? <laughs> Sentirse bien. I missed it. Send this again. You don't pronounce the T like that. Send then the T is soft. Send then ser bien. Feel all right. Feel all right. Feel all right. Someone said, I want the ticket. Come on, y'all better come on, y'all better partner up in the chat. Pastor Mike, Mike Jr.'s on here, big time. What? Pastor Mike, Mike Jr.? No way. We're doing a show. When are we doing a show together? Me, him, and Travis Green, Oh, right? yes. yes. Um, North Carolina A&T. North Carolina. Coming. November 5th. Um, um, November it's four 5th. minutes. Oh. My <gasps> whole record comes out in four minutes. Oh, my chest is getting tight. Four minutes. Four minutes. Hey, niece. Nisha, my Nisha. What's up, my Nisha? What's up? I'm gonna start saying your name like Nisha. This. Erica in Brazil, we speak Portuguese. Oh, okay. okay. I'm sorry. My apologies. Let me get that right. No, LA Day. We're looking at top of November. Don't hold me to that, Walter. It's not locked in just yet, but we're looking at top of November. At oh, I, I gotta do, yeah. do it with my church fam. Yes, it's gonna be so lit, so lit, so lit, so lit. Someone said, I'm coming to the Atlanta show. Yes, come bring your tribe now. Atlanta is not playing no games with us. Come on, ATL. Show me all the love. Yeah, and I, I need Krista to bring all of Spellman, Clark, and Morehouse. Just bring all your friends, Krista. All of them. All of them. Someone said, who is Misty? Can we know about you? I'm Misty, and sure. Misty is my, she runs my life. She's the <laughs> General manager of my block. Everything that you've seen of Lena Bird Miles, the Walls Group, Jason McGee, Eric Campbell, it's Misty. She does it all. Oh, man. All the things. She quarterbacks the whole team. Aww. The label, the PR, the marketing, me, my life. Aww. She is the base to ever do it. I don't think I've ever experienced anybody that didn't try to steal her from me. <laughs> But I will fight. And hey, by the way, we are two freaking minutes away from the I Love You album. God. Oh, Lord. Two oh, minutes. Jesus. Oh, my God. I, Rob, I, Rob, I'm oh, sorry. I'm still away, God. but I'm going to go to sleep. Ooh. I know I have to perform in the morning. My vocal coach is here. Okay, now I'm in trouble. I'm really Yeah, your vocal coach is here. Okay, let me. I'm going to talk soft because I'm not going to damage my voice because I have to use it tomorrow. I'm sorry, Rob. What's happening? I I look. I'm I'm in the bed. I'm under the covers. But Misty went live, and I just joined her. But the fans don't need to see this much of me. I'm also not dressed, so we don't want to share that part. That's just for Warren. Okay. I don't want to share that with you guys, or else I'd really go viral. <laughs> we don't. We don't need nude Erica. Oh. I'm gonna let other people do that. I don't do that. Miss E, do you want to see something that we are going to be posting? 
in one minute. Oh. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. okay, okay, okay. okay, okay, okay. Oh, God, oh, God, I'm gonna show it to y'all. Right. This was so darn good. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can show it before the minute strikes. Oh God! Oh, no. oh God! Okay, okay. Look at this, guys. How, How awesome does oh Erica God. look right there? They're not ready. They're not ready. Not ready. Not ready. Not ready. Not ready. Oh God! One minute. Okay, we've got to be seconds away right now. Like for real. Now, when when midnight strikes, you guys have to run it. Oh up. gosh. Run it up. Someone said they have Apple Music open right now. Oh, Apple Lord. Music, I have Spotify, Music. Misty Deezer, got, got everything. Google open. Play, oh, whatever. Oh, Amazon Misty, it's time. I gotta go. I gotta find it. The record is out. 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 Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, y'all go listen and then come back and tell me what you think. Bye. Yes. yes.